Look out! Look out! Big elephants on parade! Here they come! Hippity hoppity! They're here! And there are big elephants everywhere! Look out! Look out! They're walking around the bed! On their head! Clippity hoppity! Parade! In braid! Big elephants on parade! What'll I do? What'll I do? What an unusual view! Hello everybody, this is Jono the Orange and today I'll be playing Elephants on Hannibal. Now where to start with this unit? Where to start? Okay, here's a basic summary of this unit. If you are new to this game, play Elephants. It's that simple. They are ridiculously strong, especially at the lower tiers. If you want to farm XP and you can't be bothered trying every game, <laughs> get some Elephants. Now the reason I recommend this to new players is because you don't have to worry about a lot of mechanics in the game. No one can charge you, if they do it's going to do almost nothing. You don't have to worry about archers, you don't have to worry about phalanx. Uh, there's only really two things you have to worry about and that's pikes and javelins. Of course there is other things in the game that will hurt you such as scorpions and catapults, but well, when I say scorpions, that is light artillery, by the way. But it also hurts every other unit in the game more than it does to elephants. Another benefit of the elephants is they're always at full strength no matter how much damage they have taken. So, when you play other units, if you lose a bunch of troops, that unit will get weaker and weaker. With the elephants, you've lost some health, but you're still going to be doing full damage and you're still going to be able to cap as quick as as if you're on full health. You're also fast, not as fast as say Miltiades or as archers with rapid advance etc but you're still fast, you're faster than infantry so if you see a bad situation you can always run away uh, you can chase things that might harm you and they will have to run for a decent amount of time and during the meantime, you could be capping their base with your two other elephants while that one elephant chases the range away or chases those catapults away. Now here's a fine example of things this unit does not have to care about. As you can see, there is fire on the ground. I can walk over that. It hits me for five damage. Nothing to worry about. Now one thing to keep in mind is there is a lot of new players coming to the game and when they start, they have Germanicus, they have Kanani, and they have Arminius. Now, Kanani starts off with the archers. She looks like an archer commander. No one thinks, oh, she might be good with pikes. Germanicus is a straight up infantry commander. That's what he does. And then you have Arminius. He's a barbarian, so no one gives, gives a shit about what he has. He could go anything, no one cares. Elephants can kick the ass of all those commanders, no matter what they go, apart from Kanani, if she happens to go pikes which is going to be a rare occurrence when it's a new player playing it. So you have the advantage of all these new players coming up. They think, oh, okay, I've been given these three commanders, I'm going to play archers and infantry, and probably cav on a minis. Uh, none of those things can even slightly hurt the elephants. And that brings me to the next big advantage of this unit. There is one exception to this rule, which is pikes. But every other unit in the game suffers from this, while elephants don't. When you face things you counter, you basically take no damage as elephants. For example, you counter infantry. You can send one infantry, uh, sorry, you can send one elephant into three infantry. It's not going to be a problem. Now, if you look at any other unit in the game, that is not the case. For example, cavalry counters archers. If you send one cav to take on three archers, the archers can divide their units and kill that one cavalry unit. And with that damage, the cav will get weaker. They're not going to stay at the same amount of strength. And then, okay, you can look at swords with vengeance are going to beat uh, spears, for example. The spears are going to do a fair amount of damage to those sword units. Especially if it's Leonidas. Well, here's the biggest example. War dogs are meant to counter spear units and pike units. Even if they are a counter to those units, they're still going to take 
massive amounts of casualties, especially if it's Leonidas. If, well, they lose to Leonidas, so they counter Spears and Pikes, but they still lose to that commander using that unit. But let's, for example, say it's uh, Miltiety Spears. They're still going to take a fuck, fucking load of casualties trying to fight them, and that's who they are meant to counter. Even Kanani Pikes. This is War Dog's favorite food, is Kanani Pikes. Still going to lose a fucking chunk of your unit. Now, this is going to be a long video. There's so many advantages of the elephants that I could rant on for days. Here's another one. Uh, don't have to worry about friendly fire. If someone starts shooting you, like, into combat, when you're fighting someone, it's not going to do that much damage to you. It's going to kill the enemy way quicker. Because you have the biggest health in the game, and you're, a to you're one dude, you're one elephant. So if you're surrounded by three infantry, and javelins start shooting in there, or archers start shooting in there, they're going to waste the infantry much quicker than your elephant. And you may have noticed the trooper was damaging me a lot more than all the other infantry I faced, that's because his commander is at least tier 8. He had a tier 8 vengeance. And there's an easy way around that, I'll show you in the next video how to counter that, it's pretty fucking simple. Now we do lose this game because I let them cap our base, my mistake, really. But when I'm learning these mechanics, I don't really pay attention to the cap point. It's the same thing, like I, when I first saw Pikes, I knew they would probably beat me, but I decided to take them on with my elephants. I lost. But I learned so much from that experience. I learned the weaknesses of the elephants against pikes, and also how to take advantage of the elephants when versing. And in this case, I'm learning how to fight Germanicus when he pops his vengeance. How to minimize the damage to my elephants, basically. So the minute he uses his vengeance, I simply use Stomp or just wait for an auto, auto attack and then just walk out. When Vengeance is over, come back in, you've won. And you won't take as much damage. After this video, I'll show you what happens when you do verse Pikes. One time I did get my ass kicked. I haven't faced that many Pikes, to be honest. But one time I did get my ass kicked. Uh, the Pike player was definitely better than the second time. And the second time I was more prepared and had a bit more knowledge. I still didn't play it as well as I could, but I did have a better idea of what I was capable of. And actually, that's the second and third time I did face Pikes. The first time, I just ran into them, and that's not a good idea. I ran into them after I watched that live stream where they said it's a pretty equal trade. I thought, I'll oh, give it a go. Ran into the Pikes, tried to melee them. That does not work. Do not try that shit. Um, what you're better off doing is uh, what I do in the second video I'll show you. The first one is still, it still does work, but it's a bit, uh, it's, you know, you, you suffer a bit for it. But back to this bit of gameplay, I left it way too late. I started going back to decap way too late. I was too busy seeing how... I could counter Vengeance, and it's obvious that I can just easily run away and come back in. Now this video is vs Pikes, this guy actually does a decent job of playing Pikes, compared to the next, the second video I will show you. So I've got all the infantry on, on the run, as always, because you are elephants, they're all scared of you. No one wants to fuck with you. And then I see this guy. He's barricaded in there, he's shooting me with his archers, they're hitting for nothing, look at it. Hitting for nothing, I could ignore them. But I want to see what happens <laughs> when I take on pikes. I just want to see shit, like, I want to understand this unit. So if you see me in the game doing a lot of dumb shit, well you know why, I want to find out what happens. So here we go, I run in there. Get that stomp, there's a big fucking gap, I'm going straight for those arches now. And this is the first time I've faced this kind of predicament. I have faced pikes before, but there was three of them. This is the first time I've seen someone try to wall off with pikes, when I have been playing the elephants. 
And I'm thinking, oh, this is working out fucking great. Look how much I've killed already. Then he does turn around and look at that damage. He fucking wastes my elephants. But I've already killed most of his archers, done a lot of damage to those pikes. If I had kept an elephant back to engage the pikes when they turn around or to stomp the pikes when they turn around to create a gap for me to escape, it would have been a better idea. I've tried, I did try that in the second game. I didn't do the best job, to be honest. I could definitely play it better. But how often do these um, engagements happen? It's not very often. So that's the whole thing. You have to keep playing, keep playing, keep testing. Even if you might come off looking like a fucking idiot, you have to keep testing because in the long run, it's going to be benefic beneficial for you. Now I have a good idea of how to handle um, camping teams. When the teams are camping, I can make a gap through the pikes and kill all the stuff inside. So this is the second time I've ran into this predicament. I'm going to be facing pikes camping again and I'm going to try to do better this time around. This is the second time I've faced this kind of thing. And of course from now on I have a general idea of how to beat this kind of stuff. I, I can do it way better. So the first time and the second time or the third time or who knows even the tenth time you face this kind of predicament you might lose but eventually you're going to have a good understanding of how to beat it here we go again these are the pikes that counter elephants i can ignore them or i can do this see the first time i didn't really do it properly there i stomped a bit too early the second one got the real stomp in that allowed the elephants through and now there's what one two three Four units inside there. So even if those two elephants died, I've killed four units. And I've got this elephant here just hanging about in case he has to go in and make an escape route for my other two elephants. Now this is a bit where I fuck up. I could definitely do this better. There is no reason to run that elephant away. I could keep him there, keep the pressure on. But my other two elephants do have their own stomp up now. So if I did have to escape, I could always use their own stomp to run away. And this is where, what leads me to have arguments with players. They say, oh, well, pikes counter elephants and javelins and catapults and scorpions counter elephants. Well, yeah, I guess they can kill them. But that is not my criteria for what is overpowered and what is not. When a unit has so many advantages and so few disadvantages that is what I call overpowered it's the same as pikes I always thought pikes were way too strong they have so few weaknesses and elephants are even stronger than that uh, if they don't get nerfed, I'll just play the fuck out of them. I, I do plan to play the fuck out of these elephants because they have so few weaknesses. For example, I brought this up and the Wargaming staff uh, member did respond to me. And he said, oh, well, you know, the elephants have counters. There's javelins and there's catapults and, uh, ca you know, scorpions. Well, they do such high damage, they hurt everyone. And they hurt elephants the least. So is that really a counter? Anything that gets shot by javelins, catapults and scorpions takes a lot of damage. And in fact, if you compare it to Roman infantry or any infantry in particular, they're slower and they take more damage from javelins, from fucking catapults, from scorpions. So, uh, is it like, to me, it's not a counter. It's something that annoys you a bit. Like, javelins can kill elephants. But javel javelins can also kill fucking a shit ton of other units who are slower than the elephants. Look at, look at the scorpions, for example. If I shoot infantry, I'm taking out a bunch of them. That unit is weaker. If I shoot an elephant, it takes a bit of their health away. They're slowed a bit. It's, but it's still going to take a shit ton more shots than just killing that infantry unit. I'm getting, I'm getting way more points for killing the infantry. 
And as far as people saying that pice are a great elephant counter, they're also a great counter to anything in melee. Uh, they can counter cav, they can counter infantry, they can counter elephants, they, they counter everything in melee. And I believe that they are a bit broken and they're a bit OP as well. There can be two OP units at the same time. But I guess it's how you want to look at it. I look at it as in the counters to elephants actually can damage everyone. So, yeah, big fucking deal. <laughs> you know, all those units that can hurt elephants can also hurt everyone else. While well, elephants, if you verse infantry, you just stomp them, they hardly hurt you. They give you a little bit of a tickle. A little tickle. And this isn't a 1v1 game. It's not like you can say, oh well, if I went 1v1 against you, my javelins would kill your elephants. Well, you, you know what I do when I see javelins? I go to the other end of the field and kill everything there. And when I see catapults and when I see scorpions, I just run to them and stomp them. And here's an example of that. I'll show you an example. So even though I'm well aware that catapults, javelins and scorpions can hurt my units, I still want to go in first because I am the most tankiest dude on the team. If the infantry goes in, a three javelins can destroy an infantry unit in no time. Catapults can just lay waste to them. Scorpions can shoot through all their ranks and weaken them so much. So I go in first. And you might think, oh look how much damage he's taking. Oh my god. He's taking damage. Well, I don't care because um, I've saved my whole team from taking that damage. I'm trying to get in front of this infantry right now. You'll see what happens. And I can show this with javelins with scorpions I will fucking show it it's just going to be a very long video so here we go start getting shot by those catapults do I give a fuck no I don't give a fuck what's 2,000 damage I'm saving my infantry from getting shot and they will get wasted if they face something like that when it hits me 2,000 4,000 health what's that's 10% there's 10% of my elephant's health right there. He uses pylums. There's another 10%. Uh, but I was saving everyone from taking this damage. I was still alive. I am still kicking. And now I'm in the position where one elephant is scaring away all that infantry. These two elephants are putting pressure on those catapults. I'm controlling the battlefield. Now what is this infantry going to do against my elephants? He can't just stand there and fight me, so he's putting these stakes down. He gets them down. I'll just run through them. Oh, sorry, this is that was another game where he put them down in front of me, I just ran through them. I still ran through stakes there. They just don't do that much damage to elephants, so he gives a shit about that. Now he has to pack up and run away. Those catapults aren't firing for the rest of the game now. They're getting chased by elephants. And that's the thing I find with anything that counts as elephants, you can, well, they will beat you eventually, but you can make them run the whole game. Even javelins, they will kill you, but it will take some time. And with your ability to stomp all the infantry, it just puts out a beacon for cavalry to come over and help you. If you have a cavalry uh, teammate, then it's even easier. You go, look, I'll deal with all the infantry you chase down these pricks. And that happens in a lot of my games. I'm getting countered and they are doing damage to me, but I'm chasing them. And eventually, it might be five minutes later, in, uh, the cavalry goes, oh, that looks pretty easy to kill. And they come over and help me. So let's go to another video where I face scorpions and then we'll do jazz. So early in this game, I did face a lot of infantry. I fucking blasted them. Just completely wrecked the cunts. And I did face against those pikes. And the minute I saw them blocking off that path, I came over here and started killing other infantry. So I saw the counter and went, eh, I'm quick. I can leave. So I left, 
came over here, helped this guy out, stomped all this infantry. And now I see these scorpions. I'm heading directly towards them. Three versus one. Now let's see how long it takes scorpions to kill elephants. Now that the infantry is basically dead, I'm sending the other two units to start capping. This one elephant is going to chase the scorpions around. It's going to take at least 50 shots. They hit me for 700. My health is 40,000 plus. That is 50 shots they have to get off to kill that one elephant. And that's a lot of ch that's a lot of time I can just be chasing them. Here they go. They set up. They start shooting me. There, 700, 700. I don't care. You have to get 50 shots into me. I'm not that fucking worried. And during that time, even though they are a direct counter to my unit, they're not shooting at anyone else on my team. Some other units, it would only take a few shots and they would be fucked. But with my elephants, it's going to take 50 shots. So the more I waste of their time, the better it is for my team. I'll just keep chasing them. Here they go, they set up again, they get a few shots in. Oh well, who gives a fuck? It, yeah, get 50 shots in cunt and then we'll talk. It's going to take him so fucking long to counter me. You know, it's just not a problem. And now he's getting chased, that's what I mean. It's not a 1v1 game, now he's getting chased by my allies. I helped that guy out. I killed all the infantry for him and now he's helping me out. And at this stage I'm just going to abuse the fact that elephants can be on low health and they still cap very quickly. Their health doesn't matter when it comes to capping. So what would happen if these Felksmen weren't there? Then I could chase them with all my elephants. If I wanted to. Or I could hide around the buildings get those cap points. Who's going to stop me? Unless it's Pikes, they're not going to. The infantry that stopped the Felksmen would not be able to stop me. In fact, I'll just kill that, that infantry and continue the chase. Well, done, and, yeah, look at it. I'm just sitting there capping. This guy has to run. He doesn't do enough burst damage to the elephants to be much of a threat. And that's one of the counters. Look at them counter me. Oh my god, I'm so fucking scared. Look, he's setting up again, he's gotta shoot my elephants. Yeah, mate. This, yeah, good luck with that. It's gonna take 10 fucking years to kill me. Look. Has he even shot me? There we go. Oh yeah, whoa, whoa. Holy shit, I'm so scared. Meanwhile, look at the cat. This, you know, it just takes away so, just so fucking long. And this is one thing you have to learn about elephants, you don't have to kill anyone to win the game for your team. Scare away a bunch of infantry, scare away their catapults and their javelins etc. You just break the ranks of the enemy team, you divide them and then your allies can win the game with you doing basically no damage, you're just making everyone run. If you see someone who is a good player, who you think might be a threat, just send your elephants towards them. It takes them out of the game. And now let's move on to javelins. They do kick my ass, but I take them out of the game once again. It doesn't matter if they are beating me, I'm taking them out. So once again, I'm going in first. That way I can provide vision for my team, give my team that bit of advantage and know what they're facing and also make them come forward. A lot of the time your allies like to stay back because there's nothing to tank all the damage. But as you can see I'm just going in there tanking all that archer fire, all that slinger fire and now the javelins are shooting at me. Now this is one of the worst things you can possibly do with elephants and that is to chase javelins into the forest area but I'm doing it on purpose. Because if I send one elephant in there and chase them away they're going to kill that elephant, but my other two elephants are going to do massive amounts of damage to these spears and provide vision for my allies and they're going to tank damage for my allies. So most people would look at this and go, oh look how much javelin damage that elephant is taking, oh it's dying, oh my god, javelins melt elephants, but 
in my opinion, is taking them a long time. If that shot infantry, it would already already be dead. So I'm tanking that damage, and in the meantime, I'm killing all this infantry. And my team has vision. My team has uh, basic control of this area. I chased away all the range units, and all it cost me was one and a half elephants. And you know, I, I smashed this spear guy. I've still got two elephants alive and I'm providing all these bonuses for my team. The, the javelins have killed one and a half elephants. They haven't provided any vision or fucking any pressure on my team. So who ends up winning? And you'll see I end up winning because I'm fucking elephants. And that's one thing I see a lot. People think, oh, elephants aren't OP because they died while taking on the whole enemy team. Well, that should be the case. I just went in and took on the whole enemy team. I'm still alive and now I'm capping and I'm going to win. Uh, you should lose when you do that. <laughs> you shouldn't just run across and take on everyone. It's not, that doesn't work for any other unit apart from elephants. So at the end of the day, it's up to you guys if you think elephants might be a bit too strong or not. I tried to show you a range of different situations, sometimes not favoring me. And I am yet to play elephants in a group situation. I've been solo queuing, making it as hard as possible. And I've got to say that they're still on a very firm win rate. It's been from 70 to 75% solo queue. And that's me learning the unit. I've done a lot of stupid things on these elephants that have caused me to lose. I've been trying out all sorts of different stuff. And the win rate is still just amazing. It's one of those things you will have to try for yourself. Especially just to pick up your win rate. <laughs> it's amazing at that. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit. And I'll see you next time.